the, the slingshot was made out of necessity because I've got hurt many times over in the gym, uh, tore my pec several times, and I still wanted to be able to compete and still wanted to be able to train hard. And the only way to do that was to uh, find some sort of loophole in training or to be able to make a product that would allow me to train through and around these injuries. And so I did. I was able to, to fuck around with a bunch of different bad concepts and <laughs> none of them worked. And uh, the idea was in my head for a long time, but I didn't act on it until our brother passed away. Uh, it was something I thought about for a long time and I shared the idea with a few companies. Nobody really got it or understood it. Nobody really, nobody, nobody thought it would work. I just didn't understand uh, the concept. They weren't, they weren't getting it. They were like, I don't think, I don't think pe people are that into bench pressing. I don't think it's a, it's a great idea, you know. And but when our brother passed away, I fell asleep one night. This was probably a month after he died, and I. I was sleeping and it was it was weird I've never had anything happen like this before I've never had anything like this happen since I don't believe in fucking ghosts I don't believe in fucking aliens uh, I don't believe in any weird shit like that but this was uh, bizarre and I've heard other people talk about it as well I've heard uh, Ray Lewis talk about it I heard other people talk about situations that they've had where they've had someone uh, significant in their life pass away and then they were like that person reached out to them and so I don't even know what the fuck this was, but I was sleeping and I, I was kind of dreaming about him a little bit. He was in my dream. And then I felt like somebody whispered right into my fucking ear and it just said, think. And I woke up and I was covered in chills head to toe and I was fucking freezing cold. It's the middle of the summer, it's hot as shit out. And I, I felt like sick. I felt like something happened, like my blood sugar or something like that. I, I felt really, weird and I got up and I was talking to Andy and I was crying and I was like freaked out I'm like I don't know what the fuck just happened I don't know you know if a fucking ghost came in here or, what, or you know if Mad Dog is fucking resurrected or something I don't understand what's happening but uh, that made me think you know that, that message made me think and I started getting to it and started making the slingshot and all the fucking stuff I have now <laughs> Merry Christmas